Parents are very concerned now about the level of sports involvement that their children have as um, more rigorous sports sort of goes to younger and younger ages so that we now have traveling teams for seven and eight year olds. Uh, it's not a good idea for especially children to be locked into hours of practice in a particular sport uh, every day. Young bodies are not made to be pounded, nor are young minds made to pick a single thing, whether it's soccer or lacrosse or basketball, one of the developmental tasks of childhood is to try out a whole bunch of different things. That's how you find what's a good match for you. You know, sitting week after week after week at your child's uh, lacrosse game, um, I think is a, is a big mistake. One, it doesn't give your child a chance to try different things. And two, I think it makes it look like adulthood is really like boring because you have no life other than sitting passively in the bleachers week after week. And like, who would want to do that when you're a child running around and having a good time? So I think it doesn't serve parents well and it doesn't serve kids well. The research on this, by the way, is that um, it's not extracurriculars that are damaging to children. It's the amount of criticism that accompanies it. Kids, after all, are robust. You know, in my day, we ran around until the street lights came out. That's how you knew it was time to go inside. So kids can play for hours. What they can't do is play with somebody saying, you're awful at that. You know, what kind of guy are you? You're playing like a girl. All the kinds of insults that get thrown around that's really damaging to children in terms of extracurriculars, and we should be paying attention to who's teaching our child um, and try to encourage them to play on their own a little bit.